to my channel my name is Amani and today's video is gonna be all about Christmas decor haul so this is my very first time decorating my home for Christmas I moved here from Sri Lanka over a year ago in December of 2021 and we couldn't really decorate for Christmas because you know I was new here and we were just getting adjusted to everything I was just getting adjusted to the weather so this year is actually the first year that we got our very first Christmas tree we put this up actually just uh, two days ago and Sherrod and I put it up so Sherrod so for those of you who are new to my channel Sherrod is my husband and we got married in December of 2020 we're celebrating two years of marriage this year and this is our first time decorating for Christmas so I've been very very busy shopping for Christmas decor the past month I was pretty shocked that stores put out all of their Christmas decor in October and so whenever I saw a few things here and there, I picked them up and the cutest things to share with you guys. It's so cute. So the theme that I'm going for this year is a gingerbread house. And I'm just nearly there, guys. I'm just almost there in getting most of the things that I need. But so far, I've gotten the basics and I really wanted to share what I've gotten with you all because I feel like it's too cute not to share <laughs> so things first this is actually the first piece that i bought for a house and this was actually in october uh, when i was buying fall decor i went to this store called the world market and i didn't really know about it before until i did some research on really you know cute places that i can de get some nice um decorations and fall things from and they had already put up all of their christmas decor out and i didn't know i mean i didn't know what to do because i went there for fall decor and then you get all of these cute christmas decor pieces up so i didn't cave but i did make an exception for this one piece that is absolutely adorable uh and it's the base for my theme this year it's this really cute christmas um welcome mat and isn't it just absolutely adorable it's um a gingerbread house and it has just the cutest candy canes on either side of the door and i love you know the windows and the wreath on top so this is actually the first piece that i purchased and i absolutely love it i need to put it up but i wanted to show you guys first and then put it outside we still have our um hello there pumpkin welcome mat out so i need to put that away but that was the first piece of decor and the second piece that I was absolutely in love with because it's so cute and there's an absolutely like crazy story behind this. I'm sure you guys must have seen um, the, the candy canes at Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn has just the cutest throw pillows. They're adorable but they come with pretty hefty price tag. that I saw from there was the candy cane throw pillow. It's absolutely adorable, but it came with like a $65 price tag. No judgment here whatsoever for whoever wants to spend that amount of money on a throw pillow because it is cute and it is probably worth it if you do have a pretty big budget for Christmas decorations, but I had a budget and I was determined to stick to it. So I didn't purchase it. It was $65 for one candy cane throw pillow. But I was out shopping with my friend Julia and we were talking about, you know, the candy cane pillow and all the cute throws that come with every season. And I walked into Ross with um, Sherrod because I usually go there to check out festive pillows. And this was sitting on one of the shelves. And I actually managed to snag the last two. And can you guess the price tag on these? It was $12.99 for just one of these which is insane because i mean look at them they're so soft and so cute and i absolutely loved the pumpkin pillow that i got from target for fall so these are gonna be my replacements but i think i love these a little bit more plus it goes with the whole gingerbread house theme so i absolutely love it L love it let me know what you guys think because i find them super cute and I'm gonna use them every year. <laughs> as you can see, I haven't even taken out the tags as yet. Then from Ross, and they were $12.99 each, which I consider a steal. I mean, from the $65 price tag, 
finding a $12.99 dupe is amazing. So the next deco item I got was this adorable little blanket for the couch. So it was actually on sale at Kirkland's. I think I got it for about $19. Or $15. I think it was $15. Yeah, it was. So this is originally $30 and I got it. It was for sale um, for 50% off. So it was about $15. And I absolutely love it. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to style this. We did go to Hobby Lobby and look what I found. Isn't this so cute? So again, it goes with the whole gingerbread theme because, you know, candy canes are a whole part of the gingerbread house. So this was actually um, 60, 50% off as well. I think Hobby Lobby has 50% off for almost all of their stuff, which is crazy. But hey, I'm not complaining. It was originally like $17. So I got it for about $8 to $9 for this, which is I don't think is that bad. Because if you can see this like really closely, it's so cute and they feel so soft. I might put them around the Christmas tree. I'm not really sure where I want it to go. Or I might put it around... Um, put it along our windowsill but as you can see I haven't really decided on where things are going as it I just wanted to show you guys the other cutest thing that I found at Hobby Lobby was this look at this isn't this cute it's a gingerbread mug and I'm sure you guys must be knowing that I'm pretty mug crazy by now I went shopping with my friend Olivia and I was telling her about, you know, that I really love whole gingerbread theme and I didn't even say this. She's the one who actually saw this and she, oh, this mug looks super cute, what do you think? And then I was like, wow, you actually showed me the perfect mug. I had to get it. So I got one of these and I'm super happy with it because it's super cute. And another mug I actually got on Target was this little, I think should be a gingerbread house i'm not sure but it looks like that and it was pretty cheap it was only four dollars so i got this and i think they pair pretty cute together so these are the two christmas mugs that i got and i feel like they're the cutest i love them i can't wait to start drinking hot chocolate out of it because i'm not the biggest coffee person but hot chocolate i can have that all day because it's that good well, from Target, I got this um, gingerbread man, man waffle maker, which I think is absolutely adorable. And I can't wait to start making waffles with it. And it was priced at, um, I think it was about 11 or $12, which I think is not bad for a waffle maker. And the fact that it's super cute makes it absolutely worth it. And I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> For Target's bullseye section, I did manage to score a few things, which I love. I'm sure you guys must absolutely love the bullseye section too, because they have the most adorable things. So one of the things I got was this cute, I mean, this really, like, I mean, it looks pretty cute, right? This nutcracker. And they had it in three colors. I think it was red, green, and white, but I had to get the white one because I thought it was super cute. So I got that. And then two of the other things are these two candles, which smell amazing. One says Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and the other one says Holiday Cheer. So I got these two, and they were priced at $3 each. And let's take it from the dollar section. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see this? Please tell me you did. And please tell me that this is just absolutely adorable because it's gingerbread. It's <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna use it. I might keep it as de decoration, but isn't this adorable? It says, oh snap, and it has like little gingerbread man all over it. So it was $3 for two of these rolls, which I will be using for decorative purposes. <laughs> but it, I had to get it. It was the last one too. All the others were like Christmas trees and stuff, but I bought it solely for this because it had a gingerbread, a few gingerbread men on it. And I got this too, a gingerbread man, uh, gingerbread i'm saying the word gingerbread a lot so please excuse me that's my theme this year so i will have to keep repeating it <laughs> but this banner i got for three dollars as well i might hang it along our tv stand i still don't know how to put it but isn't this cute as well 
Tada has the cutest things in their dollar section and most of them are absolutely worth it. Like these cocktail glasses, which I think are stunning. Aren't they stunning? So if you can see, they have this like nice texture on it and they have like gold rims, which I absolutely love. And it was $5 for two glasses, which I think is super worth it for something this pretty and festive. So I think that's all that I got from the Target dollar section. But we did go to Home Goods, and from Home Goods, I got these neutral garlands. So these were priced at $19.99, so that's $20. And I think they're super cute as well. So you get like a wooden garland and like a nice white felt garland. And if you can see, it's absolutely adorable. And I think it'll look really cute on our Christmas tree. That is what I originally planned to do with it. So let's see how it all comes along. Got these burlap bows, like literally burlap bows and some velvet bows. So I'm actually in a little bit of a situation here because I can't make a decision on whether I should put the velvet ones or the burlap ones. I am more in favor of the burlap ones and Sharad really loves the velvet ones. So we need to put these and see which ones the nicest and then return the ones we don't need but i think these are cute don't you guys think these are cute let me know down in the comments which one you guys like because i would love to take your opinions but i love constructive criticism too so please let me know um i got this really 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 nice mac cream i'm not sure how you say it but i think that's how we say it but like this macram tree ornament this was actually the last one so i was really sad but it was only two dollars which i don't think is bad at all considering how intricate and like so beautiful it is i love these little fringe tassels at the edge and i thought it would make like a really nice statement piece for our tree we still haven't gotten the star yet so if you guys have any suggestions as to where we can get a star from or um, the cutest ones you have seen so far, let me know about that too. Oh, I almost forgot. This is just adorable. Ta-da! I got this from Hobby Lobby for just $2 and I think it's just so precious. It's a gingerbread girl oh, and she has a little bow on top as well and I can't wait to start making like cookies and um pancake batter waffle batter since i have a new waffle maker <laughs> but i absolutely love this and i think it's super cute so i'm gonna be using this a lot because how can you not it's so adorable and so and so as baubles i got a little overwhelmed when i went into hobby lobby because i'm sure you um if you've ever been to hobby lobby you must have noticed that it's crazy during christmas and there's just so much like the whole bauble section is like two massive aisles and they have baubles in like different colors and like different textures i just i actually got a little overwhelmed so i ended up finding this it was kind of hidden at the back so i don't know if someone hid it but it was just so beautiful and this was the only one that i actually like that caught my eye i feel like it's absolutely adorable it's like really nicely textured and it has this little like um sparkly glitter on it so i really like it so hopefully i can get another one of these because i know this is not going to be enough for our tree the thing i got from home goods is actually this hand soap it's winter pine and this was five dollars which i don't think is bad because it smells heavenly and i love it i saw the cutest um i think i must have linked that in my um shop with me video but the cutest gingerbread house soap dispenser but i was a little indecisive on whether i should buy it or not so i didn't but i think i will but if i do i'll um upload it and show you guys it's, it's precious it's absolutely adorable and so two of the other things i got were these um deer it's not i mean it's not tree ornaments but it's like a deer set that you could use like to decorate like your house i was thinking maybe on our mantle or even on our tv stand but they're super cute and they look pretty realistic too i mean it's not the exact color of deer but i think it's pretty cute when i saw it he was like uh because deer here are an absolute menace and 
as adorable as they are, they do tend to wander onto the roads while people drive and it's really dangerous because most cars get into wrecks because of deer and it's obviously neither one's fault but I feel so bad because when I came here like one of the biggest shocks I had was seeing how much of roadkill deer roadkill that was on the road and it took some getting used to and I was sad because I mean they do and they're adorable but you know they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time and they get knocked over and but yeah I'll have to find a nice place for this to go and the last thing oh no it's not I have to show you guys one more thing but I got this really nice garland from Target again for ten dollars it's like a flocked garland and I think I might uh, put it along the windowsill because I was gonna put just a normal green garland but then I was talking to my friend Julia and she said that you know because my tree is green and it's a classic green tree maybe I should do like a nice flocked garland along the windowsill or along the TV stand because it would be different and it would like you know make the space look nice and I totally agree with her she's the best ideas so I got that and I'm not sure if it's gonna be long enough but I think it will it would work if it doesn't i can go back and get another one if there is because target seems to be low on stock for some reason every time i walk in there into the christmas section there's hardly any decor or any art ornaments so and oh yeah i can show you guys these these are super cute too um, let me show you these little houses that actually like light up so i'm planning to get a few more of these it's five dollars for one of these and make like a little christmas village I've always wanted to do that and so I got two for now and I need to add like one or two or maybe three into my collection. I haven't really decided as yet but I really love it. Aren't they cute? And they light up so you know I don't have to like put run like fairy lights inside of it or find like battery operated like tiny lights. So that's a win-win. <laughs> yeah I have to show you guys my pillows that I got for the couch. This is one of the pillows I got. Um, I got this from Ross too and I absolutely love it. I saw a similar one at Target, but it was just in, it wasn't really doing it for me because I felt like it I don't know, there's just something about it, but this cute like wool knit like red knit and then the little pom-poms on the side. I absolutely love it. So I got one of these and the other one I got was sorry <laughs> but I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet guys, I actually got it just yesterday night. So the other one is this, isn't this adorable? So the price tags on these are really great considering the size and the texture. Um, This is actually $12, which is great because most of the pillows at Target are $20 and I feel like $20 for one pillow is a little too much. I mean it's okay considering they're good quality and all but these are pretty good quality too. So, And this woman one was... Which was this? This was actually fourteen dollars, which I don't think is bad considering the fact that you know this, the knit on it, like the texture and like the material, and this one is actually like a sherpa material, which I really think is super comfy. It's I think my favorite throw pillows so far, apart from the candy canes. They're like number one. Not, I don't think this can top it, but I love this. So. I'll actually keep you guys updated on how decorating the house goes and I'm really excited about that because I haven't started. I wanted to make this video, show you guys all that I have gotten so far and then start decorating. Thank you so much if you have made it this far. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope you liked it and I really appreciate you all for taking the time to subscribe to my channel and liking this video and also do feel free to like comment and let me know what you guys think about the videos or the decor or if you guys have, have any ideas because I really love constructive criticism and I just, you know, I, I really like building myself like by reading those. So thank you so much guys. Hope you have an amazing time decorating for Christmas. Bye!